Christ in us, our hope of glory. To them God willed to make known what are the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Colossians chapter 1 verse 27. We have been considering the wondrous truth that we who believe in Jesus are in Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. All that God has for us is our ours in Christ. We can now enjoy the benefits of who Christ is and all that He has accomplished for us because we are in Him. Our present verse adds another extraordinary dimension. Not only are we in Christ, but Christ is also in us, Christ in you, the hope of glory. God wants to make something known among all the nations, to make known among the Gentiles. The message He desires to reveal is glorious in spiritual richness. The riches of the glory of this mystery. However, it truly is a mystery. In the New Testament, use of that term, a biblical mystery is something that can only be known by the revealing work of God. The mysteries of the scriptures cannot be discovered or understood by intellectual investigation or personal experience. God himself must make them known. The Lord does this through the grace-empowered, spirit-empowered proclamation of his word. Here, the great mystery of God wants to unfold is Christ in you, the hope of glory. What a grand hope this message brings. Jesus, the Son of God, is willing to come and dwell within us to assure us of a making it to glory to heaven someday. Meanwhile, Christ wants to reside at the very core of our being, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 17. As we are trusting in Him, He is living in and working through our hearts. Then, from this strategic point of intimacy and access, He gives us heavenly hope. That confident expectation includes the joyous fact that He is coming again, looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus chapter 2, verse 13. Yet His return is not our only hope. He Himself is our day-by-day -day hope. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the commandment of God, our Savior, and the Lord Jesus Christ, our hope. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 1. Jesus is our comprehensive hope. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, our hope, we praise you for the hope you give, anticipation of your return, assurance of heaven, and daily confidence in your working in us. Forgive us, Lord, for the times we place our hope and confidence elsewhere. Teach us, help us, to put our hope in you alone. In your faithful name we pray. Amen.